tutorial today, we'll look at comparison of experimental and CFD results. The unique aspect uh, to this comparison is they're going to use photographic uh, information from the experiment to compare that directly onto our CFD results. So what we have first here is an airfoil um, that I've uh, manufactured to separate uh, at a particular location down the cord. Uh, let's look at that separation. Let's uh, turn on the line tool here. And I'm going to release some streamlines from that uh, line tool. So I'm going to select the mesh. And I'm going to release uh, particle trace using 50 points. So you can see we've got some separation here uh, along this uh, location on the cord of the airfoil. Uh, and we'd like to compare that to some experimental results we have here uh, in the form of a photograph. Uh, and this photograph from the experiment, we've uh, got some separation that's occurring uh, along a particular location along span. Uh, we'd like to see how that compares to this uh, result here. So the first thing we'd like to do is take a look at the near surface uh, flow feature lines uh, on the airfoil. Uh, to do that, let's first turn off this particle trace part here. Let's take the airfoil and create some uh, streamlines, uh, surface restricted streamlines on this airfoil. So under our streamline, select the streamline uh, velocity vector here, U. Uh, we're going to emit from a part. In this case, we'll emit from part number two. And let's uh, use a fairly dense uh, location. We'll create a thousand of these. Uh, we'll make sure we have surface restrict selected. And we see we've got a depiction of what the uh, separation on the airfoil uh, based off from the near surface flow lines are. We can see that we've got some separation occurring uh, down a location along span uh, and uh, the um, associated uh, recirculation zone behind the, behind the wing. Let's change the color of these. Um, let's make them, make them red so they stand out a little bit more here. And now we're going to uh, incorporate the picture we have. Um, what we're going to use is a texture map uh, for the airfoil surface. Um, and to use the texture map, we're first going to turn on the plane tool here. The plane tool is the most uh, easy way to um, align this photograph uh, to the particular wing section here. So the airfoil part selected, that's the part we're going to use to texture map. We're going to click on the paint bucket icon here and we're going to click on texture. In here we can apply a texture uh, to the uh, particular part. Um, we can do a right click on our number one texture. We'll load texture. We'll look at uh, this particular uh, part here, this particular image. Uh, we can select on the image uh, and we were going to choose uh, get projection from plane tool. Um, and here we have the uh, projection um, Let's first turn off the uh, particle trace parts. So we can use the size of the plane tool to denote the size of the image. So we can get the projection from the plane tool and actually uh, project. From that location, sorry, we have to back select our airfoil part here. And we'll get that from there. Um, so you can see we can control the size. Uh, of the image and align the image up correctly um, to our particular uh, geometry. Um, let's actually uh, make it a little bit bigger. There we've uh, approximately aligned this uh, photograph uh, onto our geometry surface here. Um, now we have the um, this image in 3D now. Uh, we can also now add on our particle trace parts. Uh, and now we can look at the influence. Uh, that's actually um, we've actually colored our particle trace parts by the texture, and we don't want to do that. We're going to uh, turn this back to none. Um, so you can see here we've got the CFD prediction in red here, and we can see the separation occurring at approximately this location. We can see that it doesn't match up exactly with our experiment, but that uh, is a good. Uh, um, uh, comparison utility here in Insight is to be able to compare the experimental results uh, uh, photographically along with our uh, near surface streamlines here. And the, our main um, tool that we're using here is the texture mapping uh, to be able to import a, an image and texture map onto our airfoil um, to illustrate uh, the separation relative to where we see in the experiment.